tell me when. Now this is the show where you pick your own intro, boss. All right. Ready? Go ahead. Backstage with Jason Carter of the Del McCrory Band, Traveling McCrory's, and uh, one of the two best fiddle players in his house. And uh, <laughs> uh, Jason, uh, we're gonna ask you, show us your axe. Tell yeah, us a man. little bit about your fiddle. Yeah, well, this fiddle, uh, I've been playing this one since 2001, and I got this from Tad Marks, who lives over in Maryland. Uh, Tad used to play fiddle with the Del McCrory Band. He was a fiddler before I joined the band. And anyway, uh, I did some trading with Tad, and he sent me this fiddle one time, and it turned out to be really good. It, it's just a German Strad copy. Uh, there is a name in there, and I think it's, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Ernst Kreuzler. It's, it's a German Strad copy, uh, and that's about all the info I have on it. Now, uh, we, we always hear the phrase, rosin up the bow. Yep. Well, what's that all about? Why do you rosin up the well, bow, and what does that do? Because uh, they, that makes, uh, this is the rosin here, it's kind of sticky, and it lets the, the string, uh, the bow here grab the string. And speaking of Tad Marks, he's the one that makes the rosin that I use. Uh, it's called Lonesome Pine. He makes his own rosin. A lot of, uh, a lot of professional fiddle players are using his, his rosin now, so. How big, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh -huh. How big is your fiddle collection at home? I don't know. I have several. I, I have several. I don't, I don't know how many I have. And what, what's your prize one? One that you won't take out on the road? Oh, no. I, this is the one I play. This is, yeah, this is the one. All right. Yeah, so I have some other ones that are good. Uh, uh, yeah, and they all, some of them have a, like, uh, the ones that I've kept for the longest time, they all have a purpose. Like I have a five string, and then I have one that sounds really good cross tuned. Uh, I don't know, but I have I have a few. They, it seems like they all have kind of have a purpose. The ones that I kept. So. Now, now we we always tell people we're not the bluegrass TMZ, but we got to ask a question about your living arrangement with your girlfriend Brownwin Keith Ines, yeah. the reigning IBMA Fiddle Player of the Year. How has that impacted you creatively? Because I you know you post videos of the two you jamming and, yeah. and so forth. How has that uh, impacted your creativity? Well, uh, Bronwyn, she's pretty driven to practice and play. That's all she wants to do. You know, uh, she plays all the time. And uh, that's kind of inspired me to try to play more. Uh, and we play a lot together. Well, if she comes to my house, we'll play. Or if at her house, either one, we'll, we'll uh, jam. And the next thing you know, it's like midnight. <laughs> so we, or we maybe plan to have an early evening or something, and then we start playing, and then, it's, then it just turns out. And, so and segueing into just a, a way to wrap this up, I understand you two have a special show coming up at the Country Music Hall of Fame, is it? Yeah, we do. Uh, I don't know the date, but it's coming up really soon, like in two weeks. Um, we'll look it up and scroll it underneath here so yeah, that yeah, uh, yeah, people yeah. can see what it is. Yeah, yeah. I, we just, uh, I just found out about it. Uh, she got the gig and then asked me to play with her, so I'm, I'm just, I wouldn't turn that down for anything. So. Well, Jason, take us out of here. All right. Uh, let me put this back on. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it.